All right, so what you just saw and hopefully heard was a self elbow crack or elbow adjustment. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to crack your own elbow, but if it's helpful, hang on to the end of the video where I'm gonna show you some helpful exercise strategies to help with that overall because you shouldn't be going around willy-nilly trying to crack your elbow over and over and over again. Hey, I'm Dr. RJ Burr of Reach Rehab and Chiropractic Performance Center. We provide sports chiropractic, massage therapy, and a slew of other services in the Plymouth, Michigan, uh, Metro Detroit area where we help you take the guesswork out of healing so you can do more than just relieve pain, you can become unstoppable. Reach. Hey, if you like this comment, consider giving it a thumbs up, a heart, and uh, if you're not already subscribed, uh, follow this channel by uh, clicking subscribe, and as well as hitting the little bell that flickers, uh, so that way you can get some updates of when we post new and helpful content. And then lastly, if you have any suggestions for content, please let us know. We'll make content based on your suggestions. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna show you the elbow adjustment, but first and foremost, medical disclaimer. I'm just showing you how to do something willy-nilly on your own. This is not medical advice. It's not guaranteed to help you. But if you wanna try cracking something, see if it helps you, we can learn something from that, okay? So if you suffer from elbow pain, especially if the elbow feels stiff and it is painful as well as stiffness, um, it, you may benefit from this. A, bit, a quick and easy test you can use is to measure both sides since you have two arms, right? And if you don't have two arms, I'm sorry, you can just base it on your one arm and that's okay. So what we can do is just test where we can see, you bring your fist to your shoulders and then straighten out and then turn in and turn out. And if you feel a significant difference on one side versus the other and it hurts, you probably could use this. So what we're gonna do it is an elbow extension adjustment. So collect your tests, see if there's any difference there. And if you have another test you can think of, like maybe it's like a, an exercise, like a press or a pull, grabbing a door handle, you know, high five, whatever it may be, you can use it as a test to measure uh, effectiveness of any treatment or therapy that you do whatsoever. So um, let's say my left side's the problem. Most commonly, these joints, when they're obstructed or have an issue, they respond to what's called extension or straightening because we spend a lot of time in flexion. It's just typically how it goes. But some people do respond to this, okay? But we're gonna start, we're gonna do an extension adjustment. So how you do this is that you wanna straighten out your arm. So straighten it out, but then you wanna create a quick squeeze of your tricep down here. So if you can see here, I'm kind of doing that, right? You want that motion, but then you also wanna add a little extra oomph from your other arm. Now I've done this enough where I can squeeze on my own and make it pop. But for this to get it to go, typically if you haven't done this before, we wanna squeeze and then thrust at the same time, okay? So it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna start here and I'm going to go like that. So I'm gonna squeeze and hold and thrust up at the same time. Don't be afraid. You're not gonna really hurt your elbow unless you're jamming it over and over again, which I do not recommend doing. Um, if that doesn't work for you, you can also try putting your hand down on like a table or a couch. So you can go this way here and then put your hand behind, and you can think about forcing your elbow forward like this. So I'm gonna squeeze that tricep and push at the same time. So it'll look like this, ready? Thrust. Good, like that, all right? So you may get a pop. If you don't, that's okay too. But what you wanna check afterward, right, those tests, does it feel any different? Same, better, or worse? All right, so now we're gonna go into some treatment, self-treatment th therapies we can use uh, based on that assessment. So if you found that helped, Great, we're gonna go into that. And then next we'll go into, if it didn't help or if it made it worse, and that's okay. If it made it worse, obviously don't keep doing this, we're gonna do something different. So if it helped, we wanna drive the elbow into extension. So quick and easy thing you can do, simply just do this. Straighten the elbow. If that feels okay, you can add a little bit more of a snap to it, okay? And ideally you'd wanna do this about 10 times every three to four hours, just 10 at a time. Reassess yourself. And over a period of a, a couple days, just see if things are any different, right? If you're getting some change with it, keep going with it, okay? And if you are getting change with it and you feel like your range of motion or strength or function is getting better, whatever test you set, we can upgrade this a little bit more uh, by adding a little extra force this way. So um, what you want to do is put your hand on the edge of a couch or a table or something else. And you don't have to, but ideally let the fingertips hang off the edge because otherwise the fingers are straight. You're just gonna get a lot of unnecessary stretch and tension in the forearms, which is fine to stretch that, but not the purpose of this exercise. So we're gonna let the fingertips hang off the edge. And I'm gonna facilitate this with my back other hand by, by straightening out and then getting a little extra ump forward. So straightening it out, extra ump forward. Straighten out, extra ump forward. That's a progression. 
right? And so another progression too is if you're getting better with this, but you still feel like, you know, there's some work to do, we can add a little bit more by gapping the joint. So what does that mean? What we're gonna do is take our uh, other hand and we're gonna push from in to out. That helps open up the joint a little more to, uh, to pr push a little bit more extension and progress it further. So I'm gonna take my hand and push that way. So I like to do this here and I'm gonna put the webbing between my thumb and my finger on the elbow. I'm gonna push across. So you can see there's a little bit of extra, there's a little bit of movement here laterally. So I'm gonna give a little push. You see this here, right? Push, push, it's very subtle, but I wanna push and hold. And then my index finger back here is gonna facilitate pushing it forward. So we're gonna start here. I'm gonna push over to get that movement. And then I'm gonna straighten my elbow out and then help push with my index finger forward. I'm gonna maintain that lateral pressure Flex it a little bit, extend it forward. Flex it a little bit, extend it forward. Okay, so that's the move. Again, 10 times every three to four hours, right? That's the progression. Now, if this thing bothered you or didn't do anything at all, you don't even wanna to get to that point, okay? So we're gonna talk about next if this felt like, oh, that made it worse, right? It just doesn't feel like, I didn't like that, it's stiffer, it's just not good. We wanna test out its flexion because you may respond in the other direction. And simply, that's just gonna be bringing your fists to your shoulder and you press like that really simple. But to get a little extra gapping in the joint and get more out of it, you can take up rolled up towel. Or just look at that, it just came out of nowhere. So if you just put this in the crease here and then keep that pressure there. And then now you're gonna push here. That helps open up the joint a little more because of this, I guess, a fulcrum here. You may get some pressure on your bicep, your forearm, that's fine, but that's why you want something with a little bit of give like a bath towel. Roll it up, stick it here and then pressure on, pressure off, pressure on, pressure off. 10 times every three to four hours, give it two to three days. Check your baseline test, see if you're improving in range of motion, strength, function, and pain, okay? All right, now let's say you did your adjustment, self-adjustment, you're getting, you get nothing out of it, right? You, you even went and tried doing this stuff here, doing all this, you tried the towel flexing, you're getting nothing at all. Well, it's possible you may have a tendon or muscle issue in your elbow, like a tennis elbow or a golfer's elbow, but it's also possible that you may have an issue not located in the elbow at all. And this is remote pain that may be coming from your neck. Not uncommon. We have a lot of nerves that come out of our neck area. Those nerves feed information to our elbows. So if we have some uh, problem in the neck that's interfering with that nerve conductivity or information to the elbow, then the elbow is not gonna function as well. So think of like if you kink a hose here, right? At the end is where you see the lack of flow but the problem's at the kink. You may have a kink here that's causing a lack of flow down here. So if that's the case, we're gonna go with a simple chin tuck and not make it more complicated from there. This is basically to know, is it coming from your neck? Because if this makes any change at all in your elbow symptoms, we know we shouldn't be focusing here, we should be focusing here. So a simple chin tuck, all it is is we grow the spine nice and long, pull the chin in and chest forward. So we're doing this, chin in, chest forward, chin in, chest forward, not down, not up, it's straight back and chest forward, good. And to give it a little extra oomph, you can take your fingertips with the webbing between your thumb and index finger, put in the crease of the chin, push back and relax, good. 10 times every three to four hours, same thing, recheck your baselines. This tells us whether we're at the right spot or not, if it's helping or not. This is how you can self assess yourself to actually get the problem better overall and not just go willy nilly cracking things all the time. It's fun, we like crack, but you know, it's, it doesn't really always get the problems completely better. So we have to add some other strategies on top of that to truly solve the problem. Now, if you're having issues with this then, and you're, you're self-assessing, which is great, this information is helpful, but you're not able to figure it out, you gotta contact a clinician. Typically, this is based on the McKenzie method of mechanical diagnosis and therapy, what was called MDT or McKenzie. You wanna find yourself a McKenzie certified or diplomate clinician that can help you through this because it's essentially a McKenzie assessment that we did. We teach our patients to do it and self-assess at home, and that helps us truly understand the source of the problem and how to get it better overall. Awesome, so this is a really, this can be a very helpful video for you if you have elbow pain. So if you like this content, uh, please give us a thumbs up, a heart, like it, share it. Uh, if you're not already subscribing, please uh, follow or click the subscribe button and also click the bell uh, for notifications on YouTube when we put out new content.